As you can see, I've started SPSS and opened up the data set English 1 TCAP. We see the file name up here towards the top. And this has information for uh, the high schools throughout the state of Tennessee. We notice that system number and system name are the first two variables, followed by school number and school name. And then we have performance on the English area um, tests uh, for these schools for the year 2014 and 2015. What I'm going to do now is open up a second data set. And this is going to be for English 2. You notice it's a second data file, English 2 TCAP. And as we scroll across, we'll notice the exact same information for the first four variables, system number, system name, school number, school name. And then after that, we see here that is the English 2 test results. What we're going to do here is combine both of these data sets together. In order to do so, what we'll need to do, and I'll make this English 2 data set a little smaller so we can see the two uh, at the same time, is we need to have variables that are identical, both in terms of the names, sysno, sysno, schoolno, schoolno, as well as the values that are used to indicate uh, similar cases across these two data sets. And in essence, what we'll be doing here then, when we combine these two data sets together by a process called merging, we're going to take then the English 2 variables and append them on to the English 1 data set. But let me go ahead then and close the English 2 TCAP file. And um, what we want to do is just have one of these data files open. To combine the two data sets together, as I mentioned, is you need to have similar identical variable names uh, for the identifiers that will be used to match observations from one data set to observations from another data set. And in this case, as I mentioned, system number and school number are the identical variables in both of these data sets. And in that case, if we happen to look at Anderson County High School uh, in both data sets, it has a 10 for system number and also 2 for school number. So let's go up now to the data menu. So I will move the cursor on top of data, left mouse button, and come down and we're going to choose merge files. Now we have two options here, either add cases or add variables. Add cases in essence is when we would use uh, that command for adding additional cases to the end but the same variables exist in another data set. What we want to do instead, since we have identical cases for the most part in both of our data sets. We want to add variables from one data set to TCAP1, English 1 TCAP. So we are going to use an external SPSS data file. It should be closed. I'm going to click on Browse, and we see here English 2, so find where the data set is stored, the second data set that is, and click Open. And yes, that looks like the correct file. I'll click on Continue. Now, automatically what it comes up with here are variables that are similar in both data sets. System number, system name, school number, and school name. And we're going to uh, sort on both system number and school number. Now, also we see that system name and school name are listed here. Uh, that won't pose any problem for us at this point. Uh, but the key variables, if we only wanted to have two here, would be system number and school number. So I'm going to click make sure that what I'm choosing here is a one-to-one -one merge based on key values for the uh, sorting or merging variables. I want to merge you know, Anderson County from one data set to Anderson County from this next data set, and that's called a one-to-one -one merge based on key values, based on key values of the key variables is what we have here. I'll click OK. And as we look at what we have here now, this is the English 1 data set again. As we scroll across, you notice what we'll have. Now we see English 1, and appended to the end of that is English 2. Now if I had other data files I wanted to depend on, perhaps a profile uh, for the different school system, the schools that had information about each school, uh, I could then perform another merge on top of this, or if I wanted to add additional subject area test, I would perform additional merges if the, to the extent that those are also in separate data files. Now this is going to be my 
combined data set and assuming I'm done all the merging that I need to do, I don't have other data sets to merge to this one here, I'm going to come up under File, come down to Save As, I'm going to give it a, it a new name, and I'll call it English TCAP Composite. That way I know it's a composite of both of the um, English 1 and English 2 TCAP data sets. And that's how we go about merging two data sets using key variable values.